with many families displaced and, of course, livestock killed, people there in the panhandle are still in need of basic necessities. GMAT's Lorena Rivas has more on how East Texans are stepping in to help. It's very heartbreaking knowing that could have happened anywhere and it's happening to you know, people that I love. Like Barbie, seeing the impact the Smokehouse Creek fire is having in her community. So I have two previous students that got deployed out to the fire. Um, their firefighters are actually taking baby white bass because it's too hard to get out of the fire and somewhere else. She's an agriculture teacher at Longview High School and understands the important role the panhandle plays. Um, commercial beef ranches out there, as well as dairy farms. Um, some of our largest dairies in the state of Texas are actually located in the panhandle. That's why she's gathering donations and bringing them back home. You know, my friends and family back home, if East Texas was on fire, they'd be doing the exact same thing. Her students also stepping into action. Be there. We want to be the hands and feet of Christ, really out there um, working with what we have. Maggie Mays and Trent Keyball will make a separate trip. They will distribute hay and ranching supplies. Donations are will go a lot further than what even we can comprehend. That East Texas support already making an impact in the panhandle. The volunteers that are out there right now are from East Texas. Some of the donations we're getting are from East Texas. John Hall is part of the Texas Baptist Men, a group of volunteers that provide disaster relief. Access to showers. We're providing, we're doing laundry, providing diesel fuel to get more hay into the area. Hall says most of the places affected are ranching communities. Folks who still have some cattle living, uh, they have no way of really feeding them. And so that's why we're bringing in the hay. That's why they're asking people to donate hay to sand to the panhandle. We know that in hard times, Texans come together. Now, the Texas Baptist men have 60 volunteers there on the ground right now, and they're expecting that number to grow to 100 by the end of this week. So if you want to donate to any of these places, scan the QR code right now or go to kltv.com or ktre.com and click on the big red box.